Hey guys, it's Wes. Not your normal miner here. Today I got a fun one for you. Today we're going to be talking with you about what it takes to mine an Ethereum block. Say what? Yes, that's right guys. Ethereum blocks are mined every freaking few seconds, multiple times a day, hundred times a day, thousands of times a day. But we're actually going to talk with you guys and show you what it takes to mine one Ethereum block. This isn't one Ethereum, no. This is what does it actually take to mine one Ethereum block. You guys know this is a topic, solo mining and those types of things that we've discussed uh, quite some time over the years. Our channel's been around. Um, but with 1559 knocking on the door, and we're talking like ne less than 30 days, uh, I wanted to, to put myself, I wanted to battle that Ethereum network one more time. Boom! That's right, guys. I wanted to beat Ethereum network's ass. I wanted to show you guys what it takes to mine one Ethereum block. And we'll talk with you guys about this and so much more. There's a lot of stuff to talk about. We can't wait to get into it, so let's get into it. Alrighty, guys. As always, you guys know, most important thing is please, please, please do your own research. In the description down below, we're going to have links to everything so you guys can see what we see. And, and try to do what we do. Uh, solo mining, though, is not recommended, especially with the network hash rate and network difficulty now. You have got to have some serious hash rate. And quite frankly, we threw some serious hash rate, man. We were fucking putting it up, giving, giving these guys the test. But we threw serious hash rate at the Ethereum network just to show you guys what it would take to mine one Ethereum block. And that's not one Ethereum, like we said, one Ethereum block. So, First things first, guys, as always, you guys know in the description down below, we got links to everything. I am going to send you over to twominers.com, their Ethereum solo mining pool. Why do I want to send you over there? Well, there's a couple things that I, I, I kind of look at when, when I'm trying to figure out whether solo mining was right for us or not. And, and what we were trying to do is mine a block, guys. We ourselves wanted our miners to mine one Ethereum block. So this is kind of how we, we kind of figured things out. What we would do is we would head over here, guys, to twominers.com, their Ethereum solo mining pool, and, and typically the last few days the block rewards have been in the lower twos. Well, we also know that over the last few days the network difficulty, um, network hash rate has been actually going down. Lots of reasons for that. Miners leaving China in the upper right hand corner will have different links to different videos you guys should check out. Um, uh, China banning um, cryptocurrency mining and those things have kind of caused that decline. The value of the coins have gone down, so you're seeing people switch their over to nice hash and those types of things. But one of the things that we noticed was that the, the block rewards had started to go up. They were up over that too. Well, if the difficulty and hash rates down and the rewards are up, sometimes it might be worth giving it a shot. So that's what we did, guys. We wanted to see what it was like to mine an Ethereum block, and that's what we did. So we're going to head over here and we're going to show you guys our our address here um, and you can actually see right here within uh, it says right here last 24 hours we've got one ethereum block mine last 30 days one ethereum block mine so what does it actually take to mine one ethereum block well we're going to scroll down here and you're, we're going to actually show you guys our hash rate guys so you can see here we didn't have any hash rate on this address and we pumped it up guys the ramp and run in the upper right hand corner we're going to have links to everything so you guys can see a ramp and run, talk with you guys a little bit about it. Um, but we put some serious hash rate here. You can see 2.78 plus Terra hash per second. And that was solo mining Ethereum so we could show you guys what it took to mine one, count them, one Ethereum block. Now, guys, we can head back here and check out some other addresses on this website, um, on this dashboard. You know, you got addresses here that fluctuate between um, five you know and, and 15 terahash per second and they're getting 77 blocks in a day you can come here and you can also see people that have 31 giga hash you know which is more reasonable for you know the average joe well none blocks within the last 24 hours but they are finding blocks so that's kind of a way that you can kind of see what what's going on who and what is finding blocks well guys like I said, this is nuts. We threw some serious hash. Solo mining is not recommended. Trying to find blocks is not recommended. But what we actually did was we went over to NiceHash.com. In the description down below, you're going to have a link to NiceHash.com. 
And guys, don't beat me up on this. There's a lot of different reasons why you would use nice hash. One would be to sell your hash power. Another would be to rent hash power. Lots of different reasons. Well, what we actually did was we went across all the boards here and on the Dagger Hashimoto side, and, and we picked a um, hash rate from each of these. And what I mean by that is we actually rented one tera hash per second for each of these. We were able to throw 0 0.025 Bitcoin, 0 0.025 Bitcoin, 0 0.025 Bitcoin, 0 0.025 Bitcoin. So a little over 0.1 Bitcoin, and that was able to get us each of those 0.25 Bitcoins got us one tera hash per second at about 17 minutes. <laughs> Think about that for a second. One terahash per second, 17 minutes. That was 0.25 Bitcoin. We did that four times. And what that did was, you were able to see how we kind of ramped up. And when we were able to ramp up, uh, dashboard side was showing about three terahash per second. Next thing you know, kaboom, we drilled it. So what did it take to actually hit and mine one Ethereum block? Well, here you can see we were at 27% luck. Uh, the pool was, personal luck was 44%. Uh, network hash rate was 478 tera hash per second. The pool hash rate was 11.5 tera hash per second. And us, ourselves, that's right, not your normal miner, muscling up, boom, 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 putting it to the Ethereum network. We had 2.5 seven terahash per second guys you can go over here and you can see like i said poolside you can see that and that is what we call the ramp and run guys we had like 17 18 minutes of mining here to mine one count them one ethereum block well you guys see that reward there 2.58 ethereum is what we actually walked away with from that that's pretty great when you first hit a block guys it goes down to zero percent luck and then it takes some time for that block to actually um, become validated. Um, it's got the whole chain to go through. And you don't want to have a block that's an uncle because then you don't get full rewards. But we were lucky enough, like we said, guys, with 2.57 terahash per second. That's what it took for us to mine one, count them, one Ethereum block. Not one Ethereum, one Ethereum block. And we did this in about 17 minutes, guys. Freaking awesome. This is freaking nuts. Solo mining is not recommended. It is not recommended in the upper right hand corner. We're going to have links to everything. Now's a good time though. If you're new to the channel, you better hit that subscription icon. You better comment down below. Let us know what you think about this. If you guys like our videos and you like our solo mining content, you better give us two thumbs up. But you guys quit asking why solo mining is not recommended. It's all or nothing. We've shown you millions of videos. Okay. Well, not really millions, but we've got lots of content out there in the upper right hand corner. We'll have links to everything. But whenever you're trying to figure out where you're going to solo mine or mine in general, always head over to miningpoolstats.stream. The description down below will have links to everything like that. And that's where you can see a few things like the, the hash rates, the, the daily hash rates, the minimum payouts, the mining pool fees, and everything like that. Well, there's not many solo pools anymore. And guys, I do not recommend solo mining unless you have serious hash. And what I mean by that is you need tera hash per second if you want to hit constant blocks. How do you know if you're going to find blocks or not? Well, we're going to send you over to CryptoCalc.com. And we, what we did was, guys, we've been talking with you about what it takes to mine one Ethereum block. And this is pre-1559. Well, we had 2.57 terahash. So if you punch in 2.57 terahash over on crypt to CryptoCalc.com, in theory, regular mining, so just sitting on a pool, you're going to earn 82.67 Ethereum per day. You come down here, and that's about 3.44 Ethereum per hour. Well, on the Ethereum solo mining calculator, guys, and this is why solo mining is not recommended, because if you don't hit a block, you get zip, zada, nil, nothing, zero, nothing. Cost you money, but you don't earn a damn thing. Well, estimated one block an hour. We found one in 15 minutes. We were very lucky, guys. Give us a thumbs up for that. Effing awesome, but man, very, very lucky. We know it's very luck. Lots of luck came into play with this. But if, if network hash rates down and block rewards up, sometimes it might be worth it. So ended up netting us 0.15 Bitcoin. So 0.1 Bitcoin earned us 0.15 Bitcoin. Coming out on top about 0.05 Bitcoin there. Comment down below. Let us know what you think. 
But in theory, you're going to find 34 blocks a day, earning you 83 Ethereum solo mining. I mean, guys, it's 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 rough. When the numbers are this close, you might want to solo mine, but you got to have serious hash. And when I mean serious hash, guys, we do mean serious hash. And that was over one tera hash per second on four different regions over on nice hash, guys. 0 0.025 Bitcoin for 17 minutes at one tera hash per second. We tried to get up to four, couldn't quite get there. Comment down below. Let us know what you think. But today we've been talking with you guys about what it actually takes to mine one, count them, one Ethereum block. And please, guys, head over to twominers.com. Check out the different miner addresses and things. I know there are people that have less hash rate finding blocks, like this address, 13 giga hash. Well, how, how lucky were they? You come down here, 358% luck. So that means it took them three and a half times longer than it should have to find an Ethereum block. But they did find one here within the last month. You want to see other addresses with heavy hitters? Um, you can go to an address like this one here. And you can see that they do kind of a ramp and run, kind of up and down, up and down. Well, these guys are averaging under 200 gigs and they're getting 26 blocks, almost a block every day with their, their kind of thing. So there's a lot of different theories and philosophies and things behind mining and, and what it actually takes to mine a block. Luck has so much to do with it, pools, the mining pool, how they're connecting, so many different things. But if you do want to mine one, count one Ethereum block here, pre-1559, you're going to need at least 2.57 giga hash for one hour. We found one in about 15 minutes, guys. It was with, we had two minutes left on those rentals. Let that sink in. We could have found four blocks. We could have found zero. We let that go in for an hour. In theory, like we said, guys, in theory, two crypto calc says we should find one block every hour. So we could have done that four times and not find a block. We could have done it 10 times and not find a block. That's why solo mining is not recommended. But wrapping things up, guys, um, you need 2.5 plus terahash per second to mine one Ethereum block. And that's going to be within within an hour, roughly, I, I, an estimate there. Um, I'm seeing some people with 250 mega hash. You know, that's like freaking one GPU rig finding, or finding them. You know, but they're, they're taking weeks, weeks and months to find these guys. Lots of guys have commented on our solo mining content. You guys know I love solo mining. But we're going to put solo mining Ethereum to bed. 1559 is coming. You got ETH 2.0 coming down the mix, guys. So many different things there. Um, but like I said, in the description down below, you'll be able to check out Nice Hash. Do not beat us up on this, guys. You might be selling your hash on Nice Hash. I hope you're making good coins, putting coins in the bag. But we wanted to rent it. We wanted to show you guys what it would take to find one Ethereum block, 2.57 tear hash per second. And we did that in about 15 minutes using nice hash, guys. This stuff's nuts. We have a lot of fun doing this. Check out the description down below. We got lots of links for lots of different things that you guys can do. Another link that we will have for you guys here is twominers.com, solo mining pools, how to catch your luck. Just kind of talks with you guys a little bit more about luck and those types of things, guys. This is a little bit of an older video, uh, a little bit of an older article. But once again, in the upper right-hand corner, we got links to different videos showing you all our different solo mining shenanigans, everything like that. Um, but yeah, it takes 2.57 terahash per second to mine one Ethereum block. Roughly, that's just about an hour. If you guys are looking for sick cryptocurrency swag, please head over to dogelord.com. That way you can check out Dogelord Apparel. Dogelord Apparel, guys, has sick, sick swag. You're also going to be able to find that not your normal miner collection. Here's home to the MILF. Man, I love farming shirts. We got the MILF mugs, all sorts of other not your normal miner swag, all sorts of other shenanigans here. But you can get all of that stuff over at dogelord.com. Please, guys, check out Dogelord Apparel. But wrapping things up, guys, we're going to finish things up. What does it take? Solo mine Ethereum. What does it take to mine one Ethereum block? Over time, this changes. As hash rate changes, as difficulty changes, this is going to go up and down. You guys know we do not recommend solo mining. Talked with you about that. But it is going to take you 2.57 terahash per second. 2.57 terahash per second. That's right. To mine one 
Ethereum block. My name is Wes. I'm not your normal miner. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you guys to the community for having us out. Huge thank you to everyone. Comment down below. Give us those thumbs up. Let us know what you think. My name is Wes. I'm not your normal miner. Thanks, guys.